I have only known this young man 24 hours, and there's no way in the world just reading his face that I know he's going to allow a man to abuse a woman in his presence. She doesn't think about me that way. She doesn't. Well, because I then just you saw him playing to basketball and you, going on dates so together. So what? And... Mind your business. You say that you don't see the man that your son is. So I'm asking you, since this is not a demonstration of a man, you need to tell me. And you already know this shit kind of hitting home because my man right there, he's shaking his knee. Armpits probably getting moist and shit like this shit eating the men inside because his mom need to hear the truth. That's the only way that they're going to be set free. The spirits are going to be at peace at ease you know what i'm saying because you can't hold on to this resentment you can't hold on to the bad energy between you and your close one especially between a son and a mother it's just something that just needs to be solid you feel me what man you're using to measure him with which one my idea which is your idea mm -hmm. How the fuck is a mother measuring up her son to an idea? That shit doesn't even make no sense. And this broad right here ain't the only... My bad. I don't want to call her a broad. This individual right here is an example of a lot of so-called black women that have this same problem. Your son is becoming somebody that you didn't picture him to be. He's becoming a better man than any man that you fuck with. That's why you by yourself worried about his relationships, worried about the girl that he's about to invest his time into you because now he's about to forget about you. You feel me? Now you about to be lonely and your son about to go out. You trying to hold on to your son for dead life so that you're not lonely, just being completely selfish. Too many moms do that shit because their spirit is evil, man. That shit is wicked. Now, is that the idea you trained him up to be? No. Oh, so how in the blazing bejesus are you holding him accountable to a standard that you didn't teach him, his father didn't give him, he don't even know what it is, and yet as his mother, you sit in his face and tell him you don't respect him as a man. Tell me how that works. Help me. Mothers don't understand the verbal abuse that they put on their sons, on their kids in general, dude. Like... They're just so over emotional and they got that macho attitude because they want to take on two personas. I'm the mommy and I'm the daddy. Nah, you just the mother. Just do your role the best that you possibly can. You know what I'm saying? It can be done. Obviously, it's ideal for two parents to be in a situation, but it can be done being a single mother, man. You just got to just do your best, man. Just bite your tongue. You don't understand the damage that you're doing psychologically to this kid. Because now, basically, I know he ain't trying to talk to his mother out of respect and whatnot. But then that should have trickled down to how he deals with other individuals. He might not want to speak out when he know he should. You feel me? A lot of shit affects people, man. A lot of people get traumatized just by having bad parents, yo. If good parents... We're like more common in the so-called black community. A lot of problems will be fixed, hands down. Like I said, it's a, it was events. It wasn't just. I'm not talking. I'm talking about. And it's one also thing. how he treats me. Yeah, but he I'm talking. Wait, wait, hello, me hello, as hello, mom, hello, hello, hello. So. You see, you are a provocative victim. You provoke stuff. My man right here giggling. She said provocative victim, man. Sheesh. She might have to coin that term, and I never heard that shit before. That just sounds like every so-called black woman or woman for that nature. You feel me? Just want to turn herself into the victim when you're supposed to be the figure. You're the mother. How you trying to play the victim with your son? I'm, yo, like I said, yo, the only way things or majority of things with females that get fixed is if other solid females get into the mix and call these broads out for their wrongdoings, yo. If your broad, if she's being a whore, call her out. If she's treating her son bad, you better let her know. You can't be doing that. That shit gonna damage him down the line. You know what I'm saying? We need more females to step into the mix because we gotta understand brothers fathers are getting taken out of the picture we don't know where his father is but <laughs> from my perspective the father don't want to deal with the mother either 
And then when you start being held accountable for it, then you start twisting and turning and making the other person wrong. Look at me, Ma. Look at me. Look at me. You just sat here and told your son, we ain't got a needle in his arm who I'm assuming pays his own rent. He's married to a registered nurse. He's got three baby boys. And you just sat here in his face and said, I don't respect him as a man. Mm -hmm. And she's shaking her head like, mm-hmm. I'll say it again. And I'm going to say it about three, four, five more times off camera. You can see it right now, man. Stone cold face. Jeez Louise, man. Too many of y'all fucking red bone bras got that sassiness, man. I don't know what chip on y'all shoulder, like, that y'all need to get rid of, man. But I guess you got to blame your mother. And then your mother got to blame <laughs> her mother. You feel me? Like, this shit got to stop, man. A lot of people like carrying on negative traditions. A bunch of nigga nonsense. All that shit got to go. You don't think to consider what that does to his heart, to his soul, to his spirit. I'm sure that's hurtful. And you okay with that? And it's hurtful for the things that he says. Uh, but to there me. you go. You're doing it. You're doing it right now. You're doing it right now. I'm like... holding you accountable and you spinning. You spinning your web. The dude is probably tired of your ass. And you jealous of him because he living a happy life. He got his girl. He got kids. He living a life that you wish you had. So that don't mean that you take out your anger out on him. You should be happy as shit that he's not in jail. He ain't shooting up drugs like she said. He living a productive life. And you going to try to say that he not a man. Yo, so many women talk down on their sons that it's not even funny, bro. That's why a lot of dudes are becoming homosexuals because they hate their mothers, man. They going out there and they yearning for the for the love of another man. This shit is wicked out here, yo, but it could easily be fixed. Once people start like getting more love in their hearts, start getting corrupted by these evil spirits and egos. You know what I'm saying? Opinions, all those evil thoughts in your mind, yo. Get that shit out of your system, yo. We need to worry about our children. Too many parents are still worried about themselves. Too many parents are having kids. Leave them with the grandkids. My bad. Leave them with the grandmother to go out to hit the bar, hit the club and whatnot. Haven't you not learned, bitch? You know what I'm saying? Like, too many issues, man. This broad is definitely wasn't supposed to have a kid when she was supposed to. Shout out to this brother, though, man. He doing his thing. Trying to get away. You're trying to get away. Tell me. Just here's the question. Just answer it. We'll get back to that okay, other stuff I, later. I, Tell I, me. Forgive me. I respect him. He's a wonderful man. Do you understand? He laughing because he know that's bullshit. He know that's not the type of shit that she'll say behind closed doors. And he knows she's not that type of individual. She's just saying that shit. So the what's her name? Ayanla could get off of her case but ayanla need to stay on her period man and that your mouth your voice your words are connected to the coils in his heart to the vows in his heart he can't help but love you and every time you dishonor that love you chip a piece of it chip a piece of it this is why in our culture as black people when the boys turn a certain age, the men come and get him and take him away from the mother because she can emotionally manipulate him. But since we don't live in our culture no more, we say what we want to say, do what we want to say. We tear our men down and then wonder why they don't make good husbands and fathers. Mothers destroy sons. His mother can speak to him in certain ways that destroy him in ways that can never be repaired. Damn, I ain't going front, man. I, I kind of felt some chills right there, yo, because that's straight facts, man. She's spitting right now, man. Facts, yo. So-called black women got to understand that they are simply turning themselves into public enemy number one of the so-called black community. It's not even funny, yo. Not all. But when we look at it from this dynamic that a lot of brothers 
are either getting killed, incarcerated, or turning homosexual, bro. So how are we going to try to build a so-called black community with no black fathers? Coming from broken homes, you're going to be a broken individual. You ain't going to understand how to develop solid relationships unless it's in you. You feel me? So like I said, it's not all, but a good amount of brothers get affected by that shit. They wonder why they become over emotional. They want to fight when somebody steps on these sneakers. They become materialistic. They got an ego. They fuck with rap music. They got drugs, guns, all this nonsense. Thug culture, nigga nonsense. Thought culture. All that bullshit that's corrupting the so-called black communities because of what? There's less fathers in the home, yo. We got more mothers like this that, that talk with that vitriol, man. That talk with that anger, man. That shit ain't cool at all, yo. We need more love. We need more prosperity. We need more solutions, man. Less breakdowns, man. Less anger. You know what I'm saying? More peace, more families, more fathers in the households. And less government assistance. But that's another story for another day. Let me know what y'all think. I'm out. Holla.